guys, it's me, GMZ, and today I'm high atop my iron farm. Looking down at my moss farm. Check that out. That's the newest thing. This is the road to Mossy Dale over here. And I'm actually going to build some more uh, mossy style town over here. Like a little village near my main town. But check this out. I love the moss blocks. I hadn't really done anything with them yet because I wanted to figure out a good moss uh, farm. So here's the collection area here. As you can see, I haven't run it too much, but it is making a ton of bone meal. This is like a barn or something like that, or a shop, I guess. I don't know. Outdoor, outdoor shop, I think. And then here's the little farmhouse where the little farmer lives. There's no farmer, obviously. I can't have a villager over here. It's too close to the iron farm. I'd end up screwing up my iron farm. But inside here, there's there's just not a whole lot. But there is... It is slightly decorated, you know. But down here is the actual moss farm. And I based this on a lot of different uh, ones that I looked up on YouTube. <clears throat> Pardon me. One of the things is I have two etho clocks here. And uh, this etho clock here... Uh, when it's in this position, it fires off uh, bone meal, which makes moss above me. And then when it goes over to here, it turns on the water. And then when it goes back over to here, it turns off the water. And then does the bone meal again, because there's a delay on the bone meal. Let's the water get out of the way. And this is just the on-off for the, for the uh, water dispensers. Check that out. So there's three uh, block builders here. These make solid uh, stone. I'm sorry, stone stone makers or whatever. Um, there's seven, and then seven, and then seven. And these just run automatically off of this etho clock. And it just goes back and forth, and every time it comes over here, these things try to push another block out. So it works really good. Um, this is on bedrock, so actually the uh, I actually flooded the uh, pistons, so I don't have to worry about any weird water mechanics there. Works great. So basically, this thing just is continuously making stone and pushing it in here, which breaks up the moss on the bottom. And then this thing, the other clock, just alternately squirts water down here to push it down into the stream. Or hits this with, uh, once once the water's gone, then it hits this block here with, uh, with bone meal. And then it's important to have that piston there go after the bone meal because that piston uh, breaks the stuff off at the top of the mossy block. Otherwise, uh, the mossy block wouldn't spread. It would have something on top of it, so it wouldn't spread. So let's turn it on. It's a little loud. The water's on. Water's off. Water's on. Water's off. Okay, water's on. Water's off. Bone meal. Water's on. Water's off. Bone meal. Water's on. Water's off. So it works pretty good. And uh, these don't actually have to be synchronized, the two clocks, in any way. Um, this one just continuously breaks the mossy blocks at the bottom. And if they if they carry over to the next time, it doesn't matter. Eventually they get washed down. So I think this is like a really good moss farm to me. Look at all that stuff going up there. Hello, go up. Oh, there it goes. Gotta wait for the water. Anyway, check it out, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click like below. If you want me to do a tutorial video or something, let me know. But there's tons of tutorials out there on these moss farms now. And uh, basically, I just kind of looked at a bunch of them and then said, went on Creative uh, World and uh, just kept messing around until I came up with this one, which is, you know, a combination of everything I saw plus everything I knew, right? So it's... 
Yeah, there's there's only so many ways to do this. <laughs> and then uh, the one thing I will say is when you turn this off, you know, if you power one side of an etho clock, then it turns it off, but it pushes it to the other side. And if, if you build this, you want to make sure that when you turn it off, you turn it off on this side because otherwise uh, the water and the... And the um, uh, bone meal will be out of sync and it'll be shooting the bone meal while the um, water is still there. So you gotta keep it synced up. Yeah. Anyway, catch you later guys. Thanks for watching.